So you've finally done it. Your 3D printer is printing perfectly. No more failed prints, no more jammed extruder, and no more bed leveling issues. But what's this? You're bored of the 3D printer now? Well, we can't have that. So in this video, I'm going to share with you some awesome things you can design and print with your 3D printer when you're bored. Let's get started. Number one, fixing things around the house using your 3D printer. During the COVID lockdowns, I couldn't go out to get spare parts and a door latch in the house broke. The old plastic just disintegrated and I didn't want the door handle slamming into the wall, so I had to fix it. And it was a perfect opportunity to use my 3D printers. I simply removed one of the other door latches from the house and brought it to my computer so I could 3D model it in Autodesk Fusion. It took about 10 minutes to do and maybe another 10 minutes to 3D print. I fitted it and well, it's still working perfectly fine to this day. So if you have something around the house that's broken, that needs a custom part, well, maybe consider taking that as a challenge and 3D modeling a replacement. And if you don't know what 3D modeling programs to use, I just did a video on nine different programs you can use to 3D model for free for 3D printing, and that's linked right here. And don't be afraid, there are so many tutorials out there for every CAD program under the sun, and it's a very, very important skill. And instead of letting your 3D printer sit there unused and unloved, take advantage of its ability to print custom one-off parts to replace something and fix it in your own, very own house. Number two, organize your life with 3D printing. Now I know you're saying, <laughs> organize your life, Angus, your studio is a complete tip. Well, yeah, it is. I always have like five different projects on it at the same time and each one takes up space, but I am actively trying to organize my life and 3D printing is really powerful because you can use it to make completely custom organization solutions for your space. So for example, I have this drawer which actually holds my SD cards, my SSDs and my uh, USB sticks right here at my computer, exactly where I need them so I can go from the, ca the camera to the computer and store them neat and tidy instead of losing them anywhere in the room. And I designed this specifically for me. And if you want it, there's the link in the description below. But you can go so much further than just drawers or headphone holders. There's entire open source organization systems out there designed for 3D printing so you can mix and match and customize your very own organization system for anything you want, whether it's D&D characters, whether it's electronics components or anything that you might imagine. For your specific use case, you can 3D print them. And that is a fantastic way to organize your life, make things a bit more tidy and take advantage of your 3D printer that is now working perfectly. And yes, I will slowly work through this mess of a room to make my life a little bit more organized as well. Number three, make some mechanisms. There are countless 3D models available online, but some of my favorite are the ones that are actually complex mechanisms that are brought to life with 3D printing. And this is one of my favorites I printed recently. It's a miniature escalator, and I'll put a link to the author in the description below. So this is printed in multiple components and it does have to be assembled. It's quite complex, there's a lot of moving parts, but on modern 3D printers, it's not that difficult to do. And I just love how it shows that escalator uh, mechanism so perfectly. This is the mini version. They also have a larger version. And there are so many really cool mechanisms, myself included. I've published so many interesting mechanisms like the expanding lockbox and Geneva mechanism. And 3D printing is a great way to take cool concepts like that and make them physical and tangible so you can learn how they work. And hey, if you like interesting mechanisms, then why not have a crack at designing your own? Because they are a complicated but very rewarding design challenge. So if you'd like to 3D print some interesting mechanisms, check out my favorites in the description below. And finally, if you're bored, well, why not 3D print some games? There are so many awesome 3D printed games out there, and I have personally printed many, many of them. They range from incredibly simple to ridiculously complex. You've got copies of commercial games, all the way up to completely custom 3D printable games that do not exist unless you 3D print them. For example, I'm a big fan of the Knucklebones mini game in Cult of the Lamb, and I recently released a miniature travel size version of that game, but I've just updated it to be more suitable for 12 millimeter size dice, so a little bit more common, and you can find the link below as well, because it is a fantastic game of risk and reward, very easy to learn and very, very fun to play. So I hope guys, you're not bored anymore. Those are just a few things that you can do with your 3D printer that's working perfectly 
to enrich your life. Because remember, these things are a tool. They can create tangible real world objects out of seemingly thin air, but it's not thin air, is it? Because you need to give these 3D printers the digital blueprints. And I highly recommend learning CAD so you can make your own models that you can print on your 3D printer to enrich your life. If you found this video useful, then definitely consider subscribing to Maker's Muse, where it's my aim to empower your creativity through technology. Catch you later, guys. Bye.